Hello, my name is Elder Santos. I'm an adjunct professor here at the Faculty of Pharmacy University of Helsinki. We study pharmaceutical nanotechnology. It sounds very good. Yes, because it's really cool. Of course, nano means very small. So small that we need a microscope like that one to observe our particles. Our particles, like these ones, can be as smaller as 200 nanometers, which are smaller than the virus or even it's smaller than the thickness of our hair. And pharmaceutics means that we deal with medicines. So we combine these two worlds and engineer particles that they can deliver these medicines, these drugs, to different parts of the body where it's needed, when it's needed. The material is like this sugar cube, but much, much smaller. It's porous and biodegradable silicon. We put the medicine inside and then the nanoparticle delivers to the body and it vanishes. Sounds easy, but in fact there are several challenges to overcome. First, the porosilicon loaded with the medicine have to deliver the drugs into the right place in the body and then disappear. For that purpose, we need the expertise of the material scientists and biologists. Then, the pharmacists that understand about the drug and its behavior. And finally, the engineers that assemble the particles so that they can find the cells and deliver the medicine in the right places. Therefore, we need the cooperation of everyone. In fact, this technique can be quite revolutionary because in the future we could produce personalized medicine that can be used to reduce the side effects of current drugs. We could use also less drugs and tailor-made those individually. I hope that one day we could just go to the pharmacy and they could provide the medicines based on the nanotechnologies we are developing now. I am in fact a chemist. Then I became interested in more physical chemistry and I came to Finland in 2003, where I doctorated in chemical engineering. Thereafter, I became more interested on the application of my research to the biomedicine. Currently, I am the head of the Pharmaceutical Nanotechnology and Chemical Microsystem Research Unit that is called NAMI and so I don't have so much time to be in the lab myself anymore. However, I like very much to lead my own research group and having a lot of meetings during the day.